Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Thomas Kim. Today is January 22nd, 2024. It is 9.58 p.m. in the night. From my YouTube channel, scroll down, linear algebra and threading building blocks. Scroll down, select episode 72. In episode 72, we learned change of variables in multiple integrals, Jacobian matrix, and the determinant. Show more. Download current video source code. Show in folder. Unzip it. Rename folder 73. In this folder, I will create images subfolder. In this folder, I will drag and drop this image file. Then, go up, copy the folder, paste it in your working directory. Open up Visual Studio Code, Geometry Tensor Calculus from folder 73. Open up Changes, also from Image Folder, EX59 Pro 17 PNG. I updated C++ library extension right before filming my current video. This is 22nd. In our previous episode, Episode 72, Change of Variables in Multiple Integral. If you haven't watched this video, please control click and watch it. Control end. I will drag and drop Calculus Early Transcendentals 9th Edition by James Stewart. Click this button, click this button, scroll down. Chapter 15, Multiple Integrals. Scroll down. Section 15.9, Change of Variables in Multiple Integrals. Now, close it. I will make it bigger. I assume you have read Change of Variables in Multiple Integrals, this part of the book, very carefully. Scroll down, scroll down. I would highly recommend you to read this part of the text very carefully. Also, solve example 2 and uh, example 3. These two examples are very, very important. If you scroll down in page 1116, you can find 15.9 exercises. I will solve problem 17, also problem 25. I will solve problem 25 and the problem 17 side by side. I will arrange like this. This is from Calculus by James Stewart, 9th edition, section 15.9. Change of variables in multiple integrals. 15.9 exercises. Page 1116, Problem 17. We are solving this problem. For the solve exercises, Problem 17, CPG display function name, copy, paste. We'll be also solving problem. 25. Copy. Paste it 
in the function main face it it is 25 semicolon disable it now in the problem 17 17 double integral x minus 3y dA where R is the triangular region with the vertices 0 0.0, 2.1, 1.2, x equals 2u plus v, y equals u plus 2v. So we need two independent variables u and v. Here en um u v semicolon or u v equals variables. We created two independent variables u and v. Here or x equals x equals 2u plus v 2u plus v or y y equals u plus 2v u plus 2v now scroll down in the next page you can find problem 25 now scroll down in the problem 25 problem 25 double integral dA where R is parallelogram enclosed by the lines x minus 2y 0 x minus 2y 4 3x minus y equals 1 and 3x minus y equals 8. Please read this problem very carefully. Please understand x minus 2y equals 0, x minus 2y equals 4, x minus 2y is repeated. Also, 3x minus y equals 1, 3x minus y equals 8, 3x minus y, 3x minus y, repeat it. Here, or x, y equals variables 2. I will let x minus 2y to be u. So u equals y minus 2x, y minus 2x. Also b equals 3x minus y. In such case, x minus 2y is 0 x minus 2y equals 4 so u changes from 0 to 4 x minus 2y 0 x minus 2y 4 so u changes from 0 to 4 3x minus y equals 1 3x minus y equals 8. So, v changes from 1 to 8. Very simple. Please understand, we need inverse of this linear system. We need x as function of u and v y as function of uv because we need to evaluate 
round x over round u. Round x over round u. Round y over round u. Round y over round v. We need to express x as function of uv, y as function of uv. Now scroll up. In case of problem 17, we already have x and y. In this case, we already have x as function of uv, y as function of uv. We can take Jacobian matrix. We can readily take Jacobian matrix. Round x over round u, round x over round v, round y over round u, round y over round v. Because we already have x as a function of uv, y as function of u and v. But scroll down. In case of problem 25, we do not have x as a function of u and v, y as function of u and v. To take Jacobian matrix, we have to find out these expressions from matrix with u and v. We have to evaluate x and y like this. Please observe in the problem 25, the limits of u and v are known. We have to find out x, u, v, and y, u, v, these things. Now go up. In the problem 17, we already have x, u, v, also y, u, v. We already have functions of x and y, but we do not know the limits of u and v. Problem 25 is easier, so we will solve problem 25 first, then problem 17. Here, auto M, CNA, create column matrix x minus 2y. This expression here. Then 3x minus y here. This is x minus 2 times y. This is 3 times x minus y. I will cut and paste it here. This is u, this is v. I will fix like this. Now, auto linear inverse, linear matrix inverse, m. Auto c from this li coefficient matrix scd c out c equals c cpg and there open up any compiler dir cd 073 operable variables 
Plank++, std c++20, changes.cpp, ltbb12, oc.exe, hit enter, cls, c. So, parametrix m, we took linear matrix inverse. The inverse matrix coefficients, we can say x equals negative 1 over 5u plus 2 over 5b, y equals negative 3 over 5u plus 1 over 5b, because negative 0 0.2 is negative 1 over 5u. 0 0.4 is 2 over 5b. Negative 0 0.6 is negative 3 over 5u. 0 0.2 is 1 over 5b. By calling linear matrix inverse, from these, we evaluated x and y as a function of u and v, u and v, like this. Since we now have x of u and v and y of u and v, we can evaluate Jacobian matrix and take determinant or the Jacobian linear using inverse matrix Li here. This D is the determinant of Jacobian matrix. It can be negative value because our original matrix M is linear matrix. Its inverse is also linear matrix. Its Jacobian determinant is a scalar value. SED CL D equals D CPG and there. With this, we build again. CLS See, we now computed Jacobian determinant. Now, en um underscore u underscore v semicolon or u v variables 2. Scroll up. We haven't defined uv. So we defined uv here. Auto a cna integral semicolon. In problem 25, we have an equation of a fraction. Numerator is x minus 2y. Here, x minus 2y is u. Denominator 3x minus y, 3x minus y is v. So, u numerator v denominator times Jacobian determinant. This determinant can be negative value. CNM absolute value. Then, scroll up, the limit of u is from 0 to 4. I will copy this and paste it here for easier reference. Then, 0, 0.0, 4.0. This is u limit. So, u limits. 1.0, 8.0.
This is V limits. V limits. Now we specify integration order of the limits like this. Siliconians. When we use siliconians, we specify integration order in the order of declaration of the limits. We declared u limits first, so underscore u, then follows v limit underscore v. This is function. With this, cine print answer a this a here problem 25 is odd numbered at the end of this book you can find the answer of the odd numbered problems the answer sheet says that this is the answer of problem 25 semicolon with this we Rebuild CLSC. This is our numerical computation. This is the answer from the book. Now scroll up. In this case, we evaluated linear matrix inverse, the inverse matrix of M. Then we took Jacobian linear. I will comment out like this. Then I will also comment it out. Also from here I will indent like this. Then fold it up. Here auto D linear matrix inverse Jacobian from M. So, with a single line of code, we performed these operations. So, linear matrix inverse Jacobian evaluates inverse matrix of M, then take Jacobian linear. This and this operations are integrated in this function call. I will fold it up. We rebuild CLSC perfect. Now scroll up. We will solve problem 17. Double integral over R, where R is triangular region with the vertices 0.0. .0 2.1, 1.2, x equals 2u plus b, y equals u plus 2b. Now scroll up. We will solve problem 17. In this problem 17, we are given reason r that is triangular with the vertices 0.0, 2.1, 1.2. But we do not know the limits of u and v. With this figure, the reason r is displayed on the x and y plane. This red triangular reason r. 0, 0.0 this is the origin. 2, 1, 2, 1 this is the vertex. 2, 1. 1, 2, 1, 2 this is the vertex. With the three vertices on the xy plane we need to find out corresponding vertices, this and this vertices on UV plane.
transformations from region R to region S. We need to find out vertices on UV plane, this vertex, this vertex, and this vertex. To do this, we have to solve some system of linear equations. I will copy this part. Copy, move up, then paste it here. How to solve system of linear equations. Copy this function name, control end, paste it here. I will disable these two functions. Now scroll up how to solve system of linear equations. We are given x equals 2u plus b, y equals u plus 2b. From this, we form column matrix, create column matrix. I will copy this part, paste it here. Also, this part, paste it here. This equation represent this equation. I will move this part, cut, paste. Also, this part, paste, cut this part, paste. Scroll down, semicolon. In matrix M, this expression represent left hand side. This expression represent X and Y are right hand side. Or X, Y, 1, array, 0, 0.0. This vertex. 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, copy, paste, x2, 2, 1, 2, 1, copy, paste, x3, 1, 2, 1, 2. We will use this equation and this equation, this is x1, this is y1, copy, paste, paste, this is x2, y2, this is x3, y3, this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2, this is x3, this is y3. We need to find out U1, V1, U2, V2, U3, V3. With X1, Y1, we have to figure out U1, V1. With X2, Y2, we have to find out U2, V2. With X3, Y3, we have to evaluate X3, V3. How? Scroll up. This is our matrix M. I will copy this part and paste it here. This is matrix M. In the matrix M, 2U plus B, U plus 2B represent left hand side x and y represent right hand side when matrix m is given we set x and y the right hand side and the form matrix s like this x minus y minus because we move 
right hand side x to the left, then it becomes zero. Right hand side y, we move to the left hand side, then it becomes zero. We solve matrix S for U and B like this. Or M zero zero M one zero from matrix M data M zero zero represent left hand side M zero one represent left hand side then or S CNA create column matrix from M00 we subtract for example 2 0 M01 we subtract 10 where x equals 2.0 y equals 1.0 so we formed this expression then this expression where x is 2.0 y is 1.0 semicolon then or u b 2 S solve linear double. Please note that two point zero one point zero represent this vertex. Then S E D C out U V equals U V two. I would say U two V two then CPG and L. With this, Clang plus plus STD C plus plus 20 changes dot CPP LTBB 12 O C dot EXE hit enter. Sorry, this is M. One zero. We revealed CLSC. We solved U two V two one zero. In this figure, the vertex two one. This vertex corresponds to. 1, 0, 1, 0, this vertex on UV plane. Please note, solving system of linear equation is critical in almost any mathematical problems. I will copy this and fix like this. If we have to solve our system of linear equations in this manner, it will be very tedious. I will indent, then comment out. Instead of doing this, from matrix M, or X, Y's, U, B's, we use M directly set right hand side and solve return with input we provide xy1 xy2 xy3 semicolon I will indent like this for 
auto L value reference x y u v colon x y s and u v s here open braces then s t d c out x y x y arrow u v u v c p g and there then c p g and there we build again c l s c now we examine the result when x y is zero zero this point u v zero zero when x y is two one two one this vertex maps to u v one zero this vertex when x y is one two respectively one two this vertex is mapped to u v zero one zero one this vertex so we found out all mappings between region r and region s whatever you do with your mathematics the ability for solving system of linear equation is a must have i provide a number of algorithms to solve system of linear equations right click go to definition in this file you can find set right hand side and the solve return with the input if you scroll up you can also find set right hand side and the solve also the same function name but different parameter types in this case we take parameter pack in this case we takes numerical array or tuple also set right hand side set right hand side all these algorithms are used to solve system of linear equations now we understand how to solve system of linear equations back in problem 17 i will arrange like this please take note we initially do not know the limits of u and b now using the method for solving system of linear equations we worked out the vertices on u b plane as in this figure also observe that in problem 17 we are given x and y explicitly as function of u and b that means we can readily take jacobian matrix then work out jacobian determinant or m cna create column matrix we can provide x for 2 times u plus b y for u plus 2 times b x y or d jacobian linear we provide m we used jacobian linear because all elements of m x and y are linear so we can use jacobian linear in such case std cr d is a scalar value this jacobian determinant can be positive or negative with this or a cna integral in the problem 17 the integrand is x minus 3y so x minus 3 
times y. We have to multiply Jacobian determinant. We are computing the area of reason r. The area means this should be positive. So we apply absolute. We integrate using reason s. On the uv plane, u changes from 0 up to 1. So 0 0.0, 1 0.0. This represents u limits. Then v. From this equation, v is 1 minus u. Lower limit of v is 0. Upper limit is 1 minus u. Lower bound is 0. Upper bound is 1 minus u. So we need one more variable. Auto u l variable. This l stands for limit. With this 1 minus u l. But 0, 0.0 is floating point. 1 minus u l is function, lambda function. They are of different type. We have to use parentheses. This is for v limits. I will arrange like this. Now we have to specify integration order. We use siliconians. The first limit is for u. u then follows v limit underscore v. This is function. I will remove blank space. Please understand underscore u underscore v. These are defined here in the order of u and v. With this, we computed area. Cine print answer A A the problem 17 is odd numbered. You can find the answer of this problem in the answer sheet at the end of this book. That is negative 3. It does not work. You have to provide floating point number. Now scroll down in the function main. We disable it. Instead, enable solve exercises problem 17. We build again. CLSC. Scroll up. In problem 17, our numerical answer is negative 3. The answer from the book is negative 3. We solved problem 17 successfully. There is a saying in English, we can skin a cat in many different ways. For example, we can evaluate this integral using Green theorem from vector calculus. But vector calculus itself is based upon Jacobian determinant or theory in Jacobian matrix. I will close this file. Let me recap. In problem 17, we are given x and y as explicit function of u and v. So, we could readily take Jacobian determinant, but the limits of u, v are unknown. So, we had to figure out limits of u and v using the method for solving system of linear equations. Whereas, in problem 25, 
we are given x and y implicitly. In such case, we have to evaluate inverse matrix to work out x and y. Then we can take Jacobian determinant, understanding the difference between problem 17 and the problem 25 is critical to solve more advanced problem like 27. Once you can solve problem 27, you can solve most problems related with change of variables in multiple integrals. We learned how to use Jacobian matrix and its determinant through change of variables in multiple integrals.